Hi everybody. Today's meditation we are going to talk about the full moon and its effects on us because we are really governed by the moon quite a lot because we're made of water. It, it can affect our emotional state so I'm gonna do a yin meditation just to do an emotional checkup to see how we are really feeling. So I'm just gonna go straight into the pose and I'll keep telling you more about um, all the other things that I've planned for you. So we're just gonna start on the squat first. So you are able to do squat, this is great. You squat with me like this. If you can't squat, you can sit on a yoga block or a cushion. So you can actually stay in this position without putting too much pressure onto the legs. So if you feel like you need to chill out a little bit more, you don't have the energy to sit in the squat, choose this option. You can even lean onto the wall. That's why I'm right next to the wall. I will use it if I need to. You should also be next to it just in case. So I'm starting here. <clears throat> my feet are like wider than my hips and I'm so used to squatting. So this is going to be the pose that I, I'm willing to take and I'm going to start here and arrive in my pose. Articulating through my toes and trying to find the ground the same as my right side and the left side. At the moment it doesn't feel very balanced, but I'm just going to try to balance as much as I manage here. Arrive in your pose. <sighs> so a couple of times, even if you're just sitting down with the legs bent, this is going to be quite effective for you. So feel the body ground, you feel in this pose, your spine is totally neutralizing. This kind of getting the tailbone release tension. We have the stomach and spleen meridians as well as the liver and uh, kidney meridians here. It's all going to be affecting all lower body meridians. So as I was meaning about the full moon, it's on Hunter's Moon on Wednesday this week. It's already waxing and it's already very low and beautiful and very powerful um, rays at the moment. And we are going to have it in the planet of Mars. Uh, plan of war so when Mars is in charge we do harsh decisions because it's all about conflict so I want you to just try to relax and don't rush into any decisions in this um, stage wait until after for me to make a decision this is gonna be my advice to you because when we have got all this extra energy lying around you feel very confident that your decision is the right decision, but you might change your mind within a couple of days. So if you settle, relax, and have a little emotional checkup to see what is driving you and where is the driver coming from, if it's correct, what you're feeling. So have a little pose before we do react or attack. So sighing here, connecting with the ground. Just so that you've got solid foundation beyond the thinking, what you're thinking, the decisions you're making. In this court pose, we can really feel the belly against our inner legs. And your breath, as it's going deeper, you can feel the internal organs being squeezed by your legs. And your muscles are being stimulated and they can breathe in and squeeze the, all the intestines and the stomach muscles, and the stomach organ, and as well as the liver and your spleen. So there's a lot going on. You're touching all the lower body meridians. Stomach being our emotional center. This is where we can get very stressed out if the things are changing very quickly. Quick changes can upset our uh, balance. So you want to be slowing down a bit to nurture your emotional center. So if the changes are too quick, you start worrying, you become um, 
lack of energy because you can't digest your food and get the energy you need from it. So you want to relax. Allow the stomach and the intestine to do its job. Not rush. Do not drive far, too far. Just slow down and have a little check to see that your emotional is stable. able to digest what you eat, able to eliminate what you don't need anymore. And you can also enjoy what you eat, so you can have time to enjoy the taste of the food. From here, we are going to extend our legs just to have a rebound and stay in the dangle pose. So, if you're feeling very tired, you can put your hips against the wall that can support you here. Then you can grab your elbows, and it doesn't feel too heavy to hold on for the duration that we are going to. You're able to move your arms, your legs, you can bend one knee, bend the other knee. You can swing your arms front and back, side to side, and settle in the pose. You don't have to straighten the knees, you can just stay a little bit more bent and your hips can rest on the wall. Again here, now we are feeling the stomach against our legs and still connecting with that nurture feeling there so that we can get rid of the worry that we might have. Sometimes when change happens very quickly and fast, we can't adjust to it. The worry kind of gets a bit too much. So try to calm. Here also on the back fascial line, because we're hanging, our back fascial line is affected. And that's where the kidneys lie. So we're going to kidney and gallbladder meridians too. We have our adrenal glands in the kidneys. So the imbalances here causes fear. When we are in fear, we worry. When we are worrying and we are fearing, we may make harsh decisions. So you need to be balanced. Use the adrenaline to your advantage, where you can recover the muscle and energy in the body not going and wasting away in the wrong actions so we want to just now relax and let go of the head relax and let go of the, that drive that the anger and the fury just allow your body to calm nurture connect And breathe. If you feel your arms are getting heavier, you can let them free now. If you feel you need to bend your knees, bend your knees a little bit more. You don't have to be in one pose too long. If you need to sit down and take it easy, that's also okay. But try to stay with me a little longer. And if you're feeling it up against some emotional blockages here, just notice what they are. What are you feeling? Is your back is really in pain? That's usually the sign of your fear. Because your kidneys being fearful, not secure. Something is not right. So you need to try to balance the body. So you can feel nurtured. You can feel calm. You're not going to waste your life energy on things you cannot change. Instead, you're going to focus on the things you can change. You can change your mood by just focusing on your breath.
you can change your attitude. You can change the food you eat, the drink you drink. All the outside influence you can actually change by changing your mind about things. Then you might find as you cut out these outside influences, you can actually nurture what's more important to you. Keep breathing. Keep checking on with the emotions you're feeling right now. Are you feeling tired? Then you can sit down. You feeling uncertain? Then start allowing your mind to find out what that is. You might not come up with the answer, but you're searching for the answer. What is it that that's most important to you? Why do you feel uncertain? What's the need that you're feeling? that you making you feel worrying? What's the need beyond, beyond trying to achieve something? Is it your ego? Is it really important in your life? Does it affect your life? Just ask the right questions here. Do you have to have something? Why? Why do you think you have to have that? We're just going to come down and kneel very gently, slowly, coming into child's pose. I'm going to get my hands on the yoga blocks and sit back to re rebound from my dangle pose. On the rebound, we don't need to work too hard. We're just allowing the body to be. Catching up with our breath. Deeper and deeper we breathe, deeper and deeper we can connect with what is actually essential for our life. We are going to move up slowly and gently and kindly into our dragon pose. Um, I'm going to use uh, the wall to put my foot up against. Then I'm going to bring one leg forward. So having the foot there is going to cause extra pressure. You don't need to do it. You can just bring into the lunge pose, or if you're going to do it, you can push in your knee so you got more softness through that pose. So I'm pushing my lower leg up against the wall, and front leg is just kind of coming right forward. So it's like a lunge with one leg resting on the wall. I won't lift my body up, that's too intense. I've chosen all these poses so that you can actually let go of all the negative energy so you can just breathe and then just allow the body to sink and surrender. So in this pose I'm keeping my arms down and if I my leg, back leg starts hurting me too much I'm going to bring it down on the floor. So we're arriving in the first minute here. Just see if you can maintain it. If it's too difficult just let the back leg loose. Now again, in the front of the hip, we're going to feel the stomach and spleen, kidney and bladder per meridians, which we talked about in the back partial line also. Now we got the liver and uh, gallbladder. Liver where we have our anger live. Okay? These are the negative emotions that you can be feeling. So if you drink a lot, usually you get angry. This is a very well-known fact. People can get angry when they're drunk or hangover. 
it's not just by accident it is the reality so you just have to start thinking are you feeling angry maybe then you need to take it easy on drinking for a couple of days that's all there is it's all about balancing or you're angry about something else and you're eating too much bad food rich food red meat maybe salty food and then fast food that, that can all cause the same thing so it all affects us what we eat what we drink who we talk to so I want you to start relaxing here and give up on all the prejudice, uh, prejudice that we have in ourselves just listen to your body and if it's feeling angry don't just accept it or don't judge it just try to understand it what's behind the anger the full moon can be very angry time it it's, it drives us this drive is not necessarily negative unless you make it so so start breathing contemplating and slowing your action stopping on the way to have a little thought and reflection here is it really that important is it really that important to you as a person if you're angry with someone or something or lack of achievements making you angry just it can anger can be directed in this so many different ways we want to just deal with it whatever it is you're feeling Try to understand it first. And if you feel discomfort, you can move and adjust the pose or just start breathing deeper and let your mind deal with the pain. let your emotions drive you because emotions are like the days that pass the night that pass they're not there forever they're there one minute next minute you're feeling something else it passes so unless it's really really important to you that you must act on some kind of very quick emotional rise you have to start understanding how to control the emotions that means you need to understand how to control your breath. So you're taking deep breaths where you feel the oxygen feed you, nourish you, vitalize you. And you breathe out deeply where you feel you're letting go of all the toxins and carbon dioxide out of the body. So that the deep breath cleanses away the toxins. I am going to move my lo lower leg off the wall now, just step it on the ground and finish the pose here, just relaxing a little deeper into my hips. This pose is the most active pose in the yin yoga. This is the more, most yang of the yin yoga. So I'm dealing with that extra energy in my body so that it's actually gonna burn out all the negativity and slow me down so I can sleep well tonight. If it's too much, you can already stop, but we got about 20 more seconds here. just going to come back off the pose into the downward facing leg. So you just get the hands and knees first, lift your hips up slowly and press the heels down. Just try to stay here in the rebound so you can feel the blood run through the front of the legs now. 
You're cleansing away all the toxins and impurities from the front of the hips. We're opening up the channels and the meridians in the body to connect with our internal organs where we can get some nourishment in. So the balance takes place. we are going to change the front leg again very kindly softly removing the other leg and again i'm going to start with one back leg on the wall and launch the front leg forward so we talked about the lower body meridians and when they're out of balance how they can be affecting us but when they're in in balance they can be so wonderful so when we are trying to balance all these emotions so the liver where we keep our anger if we are in balance we can actually not be angry and be able to um, control our stress levels so if you're in balance you can actually be more decisive and you know and you make the right decision so when we're working on our emotions here that's what we are trying to achieve. So turning negative into positive. So we work on the liver meridian, gallbladder meridian. Then we can actually come up with the ideas and the very calm decisions that's going to make our lives better for us. So breathe and deepen the breath and connect. Connect more deeper. Think about what you're feeling on the hip. Think about your emotions that live in the organs. How does it make you feel now that you had to think about it? Did you manage to turn anger into positive decisiveness? Anger into moderate arranging abilities? Or fear into drive? For ambition for your life and go get get up and go attitude so these things can be such a wonderful thing to every morning get up and your kidneys are so balanced that you're always wanting to do something and you've got energy you drive it in kidneys where the adrenaline lives we keep our gene energy so when it's in balance we are always up and go when it's out of balance, we are lazy. We don't want to do things or we just get fearful. We fear that if we do something, it might hurt us. So we don't want to live in fear. We don't want to lose our will to live either. So we want to have the energy to go, get, go, get. But then you have to remember not to overdrive this feeling. So the full moon can be overdriven by all these emotions. So that we need to slow our emotions down even more. So we are not going to drive ourselves to destroy our whole lives. We are just going to make it balanced, feel nurtured, Feel that each day we can get up and do things that we enjoy. Feel, feel that we can actually make the right decision. And when things go wrong, we are able to deal with them. So we are not going to run away and hide. We're going to face the problems and not be affected too badly. Knowing that it's actually a temporary state. And it will pass and it doesn't affect our real will to live so don't let things take priority over your life 
this is the whole thing. So if you think about what you need to be alive, you need your breath to be alive. You could go blind, you could still live on. You could lose your sense of taste, which most people did with coronavirus, but they still lived on. You could lose your sense of feel to your skin. You could still live. You, you, somebody would say, okay, put a jumper on. You might not feel the heat or the cold, but you can still live on. You could lose your hearing and you can still live on. But if you lose your breath, there'll be no life. So you need to work on your breath. Breathe deeper. Feel the energy through the breath. Travel it to each and every cell. Fill your cells with new fresh oxygen. As you exhale, you take the carbon dioxide away. As you breathe, your blood runs through. That actually travels all the food that we eat into the muscles, all the nutrients you need. Without the breath, your cardiovascular system wouldn't work, and you couldn't be nourished. Even the food you ne eat needs to be absorbed through your breath. So when your breathing is quite irregular, you can get indigestions. Even if your stomach is working well, it's not going to help. So we are all aware what our breath does for us. I am now moving my leg down off the wall and leaning a little bit forward onto the front leg just to take the pressure of it on the last minute in this pose. going to rebound in that down dog again if you feel tired go into child's pose i quite like straightening my legs now because they've been bent so long so that fresh blood comes through the front of the legs again and i can feel my connection through my front of the foot into my hips allow all the leftover tension the drain I'm breathing and I know that I'm breathing and I know that life is going to be okay as long as I have my breath. And what might seem hard today is not going to feel the same tomorrow. Just trust yourself and trust the universe. Trust that your breath will keep you alive and you don't need much help. Now we're gonna come to a seated position of your choosing. I want you to contemplate on everything we've spoken already. 
just sit nice and comfortably and you can choose a chin mudra or any other mudra that you like to ch uh, choose and I want you to be quiet and silent eyes closed and I'm gonna play the gong for you so I want you to start changing negative in the positive whatever it is that you're going through I want you to find a positive out of it all so even if like you've crashed your car so what is the positive out of it you have to find something so just think dig deep Jump three times on three times shanti. Let the sound penetrate. Let your thoughts become positive. And just please be gentle and kind towards yourselves and towards each other. Let your arms up, join your palms, join your face, and touch your chest and your chin. Namaste everybody. Have a happy, happy moon.